Okay, here's uh, round two of my testing. Uh, a pagoda that I ran on the last one, and then uh, regular linear antenna, and then the Menace RC patch, my current favorite, and then the new Farview triple, uh, triple feed patch. So here's the uh, pagoda. This is all running at 25 milliwatt. We're pretty much in a a worst case scenario for multi-pathing here. I'm kind of standing in the middle of a bunch of trees. So you can see you've got all that colored static. That's all the multi-pathing from the trees around me. I'm running an omni antenna here, so. Um, but it is only at 25 milliwatt. So you can just see me standing next to my car there. Uh, I'm really asking the antenna to sort out everything that's bouncing around the trees around me. Okay, so here's the linear, the rubber ducky antenna. Linears generally do have a little bit higher gain than a true omni uh, circular polarized. But you can see I'm really getting uh, uh, quite a lot more vertical scrolling and it's harder to fly through. even up close like this where the other one was doing pretty well. Okay, next we've got the Menace RC patch on an extension. And this one I know is good all the way out to this tree. It's, uh, it's just really solid. Just a slight amount of multi-path artifacts and then I come behind this tree there and you get quite a bit more but still not too bad pretty easy to fly through okay and now for the new triple feed with uh, right hand polarization and the dummy load on the other side as it's designed to be run okay here we go it is a uh, pagoda revision B on the uh, on the quad running 25 milliwatts and an ABS cover I would say just maybe slightly more um, multi-path artifacts happening um, around that little tree and then and then I dip down behind out of line of sight behind those trees and uh, I got quite a bit more you can see there really it really loses the frame of the picture so I'm running this on my head plate goggles. Um, this is the head plate HD, the version one. Um, the head plate SE, the new new version, apparently has a better uh, video receiver. I'm trying a little bit of long range here. Long range for 25 milliwatt anyway. And the picture is good with the, just the occasional little blip, little black bar. I think part of the problem here is that is that the video receiver on the Headplay HD goggles, um, I don't think it can handle multi-pathing as well as, as maybe some can. Okay, and then I'm going to come around. Uh, this is pretty much 90 degrees to my left, uh, coming through the trees, testing any kind of side lobes that the uh, patch antenna might have. And it looks like it's doing pretty good coming up behind me. And there we go.